ABAP 7.4 version, SAP has introduced the inline declaration concept. So we are going to discuss about the inline declaration concept now. And uh, this is something in which we we don't have to individually, uh, you know, we don't have to individually uh, assign everything. So we can do it in the during the runtime. I'll explain you that. What do I mean by that? I'll explain you. That. So let me first take a very simple example here. Let's say we have data, some uh, var1, variable1, type string, string, and then uh, we have this, this var1 is equals to, say, Vikramaditya, and then write var1. This is how we used to write. Okay, this is the normal syntax that we have the old syntax so what will happen uh, Vikramaditya will be typed the same thing let's take it forward into the inline declaration the new uh, kind of a coding which we'll do now so in this we'll write we'll not write any data declaration guys so we'll just write that the data of bracket var1 is equal to var1 is equal to Aditya. and then once it's been done we'll go for write var1 this is what we have so it will work absolutely fine okay now Vikramaditya has been typed so previous prior to this ABAP 7.4 version uh, uh, prior to ABAP 7.4 version we, we we will not have this kind of uh, option here we will we will be able to do this inline declarations only in the latest ones like uh, only the latest uh, version of uh, SAP so uh, ABAP 7.4 version okay so when we when we used to write the loop loop also we'll be just understanding the loop concept a read statement and all so I hope you understood this uh, uh, slightly so let's go ahead with a simple example here in which we, uh, we used to declare that type declaration and we used to declare the internal table and work area then we used to write the select statement and then we used to write the loop statement now in the new code we'll write the select statement directly we'll write the select statement directly so select these these fields and here if you observe we're writing comma this is a new code in in last for last field we are not writing the comma but for all the other fields we have comma from SPFLI, that's a this standard table into table da table at the rate data item. So we are dynamically creating the internal table here. We are not declaring anywhere up up up, up above the declaration part. There's no declaration part here. Work area also we are not declaring it here. We are we have already declared under on the top. So we'll be just writing this. We'll be just writing this and coming this. Now here this is all we'll write and uh, work area we are we are declaring this fields so work area. That's it. Okay, so this is called the inline declaration we have. Okay, so if you just uh, execute it, I'll comment this one. So this is the data that we have. This is the data that we have. That's the data that we have. So this is a uh, this is an example in which we are using the select statement. So so how do we how do you write it? So internal see we declare the internal table. We, we used to declare the structure internal table and work area. Just like uh, we had it in HANA Studio. So we we auto we are auto generating the internal table with all these fields carried, coined, city from and city to all these we are actually creating a table with these fields and. Uh, uh, so automatically an internal table with these fields will get created automatically system will understand that the only thing that we write at the rate data and then we have to go for itap then we have to go ahead with loop at itap into data wa so we have wa hyphen carry wa hyphen con it wa hyphen city from and wa underscore city to so these are the values that we have okay so that like it will it will update that values here that's it So this is the data that we have. okay so this is one example here we have so 
so if we take into consideration the old method we have uh, the parameters we used to define the parameters right so p underscore carry type is pfli carry value aa so begin of str so these are these are the field names okay we used to declare the fields fields and we used to declare the internal table and work area so here we are referring to the table field and we can also refer to the data elements okay so once we have this select statement we have this select statement then we have the loop statement okay so this is how we used to write but in the in the new method what we have is we'll write data p carry is equals to aa okay. data a data p so this is data p carry is equals to a now we are not defining in the properties here we are not defining any properties here So uh, we have this carried conid city from and city to from SPFLI into table at the rate data data where carried is equals to at the rate p carried. So we, we are writing this uh, you know at the rate p carried and uh, then we are writing this class output display data. So this CL underscore demo output is already a by default uh, class which we can use for display and uh, display so we, we don't have to write the loop statement also so we have this i tab this i tab is something which is uh, the internal table which we are we are copied the data into so we can directly execute this so we'll get this data so the data is getting in the we are getting it in the pop-up because we instead of using this uh, instead of using the you know, what you call instead of using this uh, normal loop or loop statement we have used the class cl underscore demo underscore output implies display data so this is what we have so data p carried under is equals to aa so select uh, carried conid city from city to from spfli into table at the rate data data where carried is equals to at the rate p carried this is what we have okay so now what we have done is we predefined the values okay so predefined the values and according to the predefined value, uh, we are, we, I mean, like we have this uh, p caret is equals to a. Just to assign the value, we are we are giving it. We are not giving the properties. Properties are by default taken by the system. Okay, they are assumed by the system. So this is called inline declaration, guys. So then we have. Okay, these are the arithmetic operations. In the arithmetic operations, we have used lb underscore bonus uh, sprc type p decimals to value 0 0.8 select 1 plus 1 as 2 okay 1 plus 1 as 2 at the rate lv underscore uh, uh, bonu as spirc into sal as bonus and uh, common as sealed common and from this one into this one so what happens here is i'm just like let, let, letting you explain just explain this one is like mast So, at rate LV at into sal, the sal should be there in that field value. So, anyways, like um, uh, we, we we have to create this field sal in our table and then uh, cymm as uh, uh, a field so that like we can get this data. So, I'll explain you this uh, the this uh, you know variable. So, we just need to create a table with those fields SCL cymm. So that like we'll we'll get this operations done. So this is a select statement that we need to understand slowly, uh, and uh, these fields have to be existing. Only then we'll do it. So we can create a table name, and then we can discuss about this. So in this, guys, in this fourth example, what we are doing here is like we are uh, uh, going ahead with this uh, select statement in which we are not writing anything above this. Okay, we are just written employee number uh, and uh, then we have uh, uh, select employee number case sal. So we are selecting only two fields now, employee number and sal. So for sal, instead of writing just sal, we are writing case sal when twenty thousand, then write twenty thousand. If you have when 30,000, if you have tried then 30,000. Else, 
normal okay so if a, whenever 20000 and 30000 comes we have to write that as in in words but when it when any other value is there then we have to just write it as sal that's it and as sal underscore long from zdxc underscore emp into table at the rate data lt underscore data so lt underscore result. now what is zdxc underscore emp zdxc underscore emp is our is our table existing table in which we already have employee number and sal so only if you have that employee number and sal there we'll be able to give it now what you have to do when you are practicing this concept is like you have to make sure you give that table name as your table name and the field name should be appropriate according to what field names that you have given here so employee number and sal are the field names that i already have it in this table that's the reason i'm using it okay and sal underscore long is a syntax this is a syntax okay so we are taking it as long so what we are doing is uh, end as end as SEL underscore long. So this is a syntax. We have to open the case statement. We are writing the condition within the select statement, and then we are giving it. Once we get the data into the into this LT underscore result that the internal table, we are just giving this LT underscore result to this particular class method that is CL underscore demo underscore output uh, uh, output, and then we are writing this uh, uh, output in the, in the in that box format. Select syntax check activate. So once we execute this, so we get this. So wherever we are getting this 20,000, we are actually getting it in the word format and remaining all the other things we are getting in the numeric values. Just for those values, it's changing the output. That's it. This is the example number four, guys. So in this, like you, you give your own table name. So we'll discuss about the few more inline declaration concepts in the next coming session.